It's just you? Where is everybody? They said they wanted to come, but they couldn't because they didn't want to come. Where were you? This was a really big deal for me. I got a master's in archaeology from Georgetown. You didn't even go to school there. Hey, Dad. Mm. So, Dad, Mr. Brink gave us an assignment. We're supposed to interview our dads. It's supposed to show us that history can come from anywhere. What? I'm just supposed to ask some background questions, you know, <laughs> about your life. Like, where were you born? That's getting awfully personal. God, the first five, ten times you take a life, it's eerie. You remember every detail. I can see all their faces. One had a beard. Each time I pulled the trigger, I tied a little knot in my memory that no amount of whiskey could loosen. Of course, eventually I stopped caring. Now I can put a bullet through a man's head while figuring out how much KFC to pick up on my way home. Because everyone else thinks I did. What do you think? I think my trophy is a coos magnet, and this photo won't scare off any wang either. I don't know why you did this. You worked so hard to get ready. I mean, you weren't going to win, but you would have finished. That would have been a real achievement. Oh, what the... It's five in the morning. What are you doing? Why, I'm getting ready to go to the dig site. Come on, Roger. What are you really doing? Well, why don't I show you? Big finish, guys. Bring it home. Host this, Doogie Hauser. All right. Whew. <laughs> Let's head home. What? No. We need to stay and study these people. This is all so fascinating. Oh. Ah! No! Uh, no way. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. What's going on? We're actors. You just killed Cuba Gooding Jr. We got a face full, didn't we? Edna, be a good girl. Run downstairs and give the air conditioner a kick, won't you? Yes, ma'am. Whew. Edna. Yes, Miss Haley. How is everything? Just fine, Miss Haley. Not the cake. Not the presents. It was my dad packing up and walking out on us. <laughs> Daddy, no, don't go! <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> the party ended hours ago, and he's still not back. Why did you leave? Why did you stay? I was eight! I just ate! That's why I can't swim right now. Not for uh, nine more minutes. You walked out on us. I remember it like it was yesterday, my eighth birthday party. Of babies. You see, I was in a relationship with this woman. She got pregnant and we lost the baby. Seeing this one, it's, it's just too painful. But Avery, we're perfect together. I'm sorry, Edna. It was during the party before my dad left. I remember the balloon animal the clown made for me. It popped. I started crying. <laughs> Went searching for my mommy. Mommy, my balloon! I remember another sound. Just like you wanted. Edna, what have you done? What on Lucifer's black beach have you done? Where's my baby? Your baby? Oh, God, no. No! no! I didn't know! Avery, oh! I did it so we could be together! Sounds were scarce in those days. The good ones could name their own price. Not like now. Oh, but you needed a clown, and you threw a tantrum fit for a real queen. So, I pulled out the clown suit that I used for robbing fruit trucks around town. Not that you care. Thank you, son. This 
is just what I need. Really? Th that's all I've ever wanted. Oh, Daddy, I'm so happy. <laughs> Stan! I hope the party was worth it. You guys a drink to start? Iced tea, soda? Tap water's fine. And we'll take a basket of your freest bread. Dad, can we get an appetizer? Appetizer? Honey, good news! Haley has been made the Queen of Denmark. You better give King Torvald an heir before he discovers you've spent all his treasure on jalapeno poppers. Yeah, but this character's loaded, so he's more likable. He's an annoying, inconsiderate old douche. Last time he was here, dude borrowed my car and returned it with no wiper fluid. I don't know what he did with it, spraying it all over town. Well, we're just gonna have to suck it up, because I'm tired of living on the cheap. I'm done using dirty Kleenex as toilet paper, and vice versa. So you're gonna give all your money to charity? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, dear. My ears aren't working so well. I got AIDS in prison. Hearing AIDS. I should really use them. Then I might have heard that guy who snuck up on me in the shower and gave me HIV. Anyhow, I'm not a young man anymore, and... Fatherly advice. Do you seriously still not know what's going on? Uh... After all the money we've let him spend on us, we can't just let him stop. So many secret elections. We have to convince Max to get rid of Gina. Because she's gonna take all our money! Way to go, Mom! You get it! I understand everything! Yeah... Come on, Maxie, it's too crowded in here. Let's go play some volleyball. You go. I'll have fun watching you have fun. Okay! Hey, why don't you two lovebirds kiss before you go? Love to. Well... I'm sure it'll be a nice change of pace for her to be at a party where she ends up inside everyone else. It's been a while since my wedding. How much does a wife cake set you back these days? I told Max he didn't need to spend so much of his money on me. My dove, after we're married, everything that's mine will be yours. <laughs> ah! Amateurs. Oh, soup! Ah! Which piece do you want? You know! <laughs> you know that's how I like to do that! This family will never again allow money to corrupt- Oh my god! I convinced Max to patch things up with Jerry and leave him everything in his will. Oh, I got him untangled. I'll take it from here, darling. Then Gina put poison in the cake and fed it to my dear old dad. Welcome to the club! Look at my butt! Now look at my front butt! Roger, why are you walking around without a disguise? You know Jeff can't know you're an alien. This is the talkiest rape ever. Go put on some clothes right now. This is my house. I should be able to sit around naked if I want. Glass of scotch in my hand, fan on my crotch. Scotch, crotch, by gotch. Well, what if my ass never comes in? Oh, it will. What if it doesn't? Then you fake it till you make it. Now you're going to want to change these every two weeks. I'm out. So, what do you think? Blew the damn pockets off my jeans. My cousin was like, wow! There's something delicious in here! No, Barry. Ah! <laughs> hey, everyone! Steve Smith stops! <laughs> you can't kill my husband! Fine, then I'll kill Roger. You can't kill Roger! He's part of our family! Well, someone better decide who's gonna die here. If the CIA finds out we have an alien, we're all dead. Mr. Smith, no one has to die. I promise I won't tell anyone. I swear. I swear on my promise. It means I gotta learn to like myself, even if my big boy butt never comes in. You know what, kid? I think you're gonna be all right. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Do a whole
whole new adventure. And so are you guys. Jeff, don't you dare feel bad about this, you hear me? This was my fault, not yours. Thank you so much for saying that, Roger. Come here, honey. <laughs> Antennas activate. I'm, I'm just putting on a voice. All I have to do now is tell him where to pick me up. Well, what are you waiting for? Do I have to go? My planet's freezing cold, there's no booze, and sex is so boring up there, it's all consensual. <laughs>